Do you have a really bad ache in your lower back and feel sick to your stomach, maybe even throwing up? And is your pee a weird color? These could be signs of kidney stones. Kidney stones are like little rocks made of minerals and salts that form in your kidneys. They happen when there's too much stuff, like calcium, phosphorus, and oxalate in your pee. Sometimes kidney stones can pass out of your body by themselves, but it hurts a lot, and you might need a doctor's help. Sometimes, you even have to get surgery to remove them. You can stop kidney stones from forming in the first place by eating healthy, drinking lots of water, staying at a good weight, and exercising. But did you know some healthy foods can actually make kidney stones more likely if you eat too much of them? Yeah, it's true. So, let's talk about 17 foods that could give you kidney stones. Remember, if you don't have a family history of kidney stones, you're probably fine eating these foods. But if you do, be careful how much you eat. Number one, hot chocolate. Chocolate isn't the ideal choice if you're trying to reduce your oxalate intake, and hot chocolate is no different. A single cup of hot chocolate contains around 65 milligrams of oxalates. A better alternative is chocolate milk, which has significantly lower oxalate content at about seven milligrams per cup. On top of that, one cup of chocolate milk gives you about 21% of your daily calcium needs, which is helpful in preventing kidney stones. Number two, soy products. Products made from soybeans are great sources of protein and nutrients, especially for those following a plant-based diet. However, they are also high in oxalates. For example, a three ounce serving of firm tofu contains about 235 milligrams of oxalates. Similarly, one cup of soy milk or yogurt can contain up to 336 milligrams per serving. Number three, cocoa powder. Cocoa powder is thought to be an aphrodisiac, especially in Switzerland where people consume a lot of chocolate. While dark chocolate is full of nutrients, it's also high in oxalates. Just to give you an idea, 100 grams of raw cocoa powder has 624 milligrams of oxalates, which is quite a bit. So, if you're prone to kidney stones, indulging in dark chocolate might not be the best idea. Number four, bulgur. Bulgur is a type of grain made from various wheat species, usually durum wheat. It comes from Middle Eastern countries and has a light, nutty smell. People often use bulgur in Mediterranean dishes like tabbouleh, but it can also be added to cereals, veggie burgers, and even squash. However, bulgur is high in oxalates. Just one cup of cooked bulgur contains 86 milligrams of oxalates. Number five, miso soup. Miso soup is a popular dish in Asian culture, usually made with tofu and seaweed. But it's important to know that miso soup is high in oxalates. Just one cup contains 111 milligrams of oxalates. So if you have kidney stone issues, it's probably best to avoid it. If you're enjoying our video, don't forget to hit the like button. And make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our informative videos. Number six, raspberries. Several fruits contain oxalates, including avocados, oranges, and grapefruit. However, raspberries are considered a high oxalate fruit with about 48 milligrams of oxalates per cup. Interestingly, raspberries have been found to help expel stones from the urinary tract, even when given acutely. Number seven, okra. Okra is really nutritious, packed with vitamin K, protein, healthy fats, potassium, and fiber. It's great for digestion, and can even help your skin if you use it directly after boiling and mashing. But here's the thing. Okra is also high in oxalates. So, if you think you might have kidney stones, it's smart to steer clear of it. Number eight, spinach. Spinach is a big problem when it comes to kidney stones because it's loaded with oxalates. Just one cup of spinach has a whopping 656 milligrams of oxalates, and cooked spinach has even more at 755 milligrams. Even though spinach is packed with good stuff like vitamin A and vitamin C, it's best to steer clear of it if you think you might have kidney stones. Instead of spinach, you can try kale, which has way fewer oxalates. Number nine, almonds. Even though almonds are generally good for you, they're high in oxalates, so it's best to avoid them if you think you might have kidney stones. Just one ounce of almonds contains 122 mil dollars of oxalates. Other nuts like pistachios, cashews, 
peanuts, and walnuts are also high in oxalates, so you might want to skip those too if you have calcium oxalate or uric acid kidney stones. Your doctor might recommend avoiding these nuts altogether if you already suffer from these types of kidney stones. Number 10. Beets. Beets are a healthy root veggie with natural sweetness and loads of nutrients like vitamin A, iron, and beta-carotene. They're also rich in fiber, folate, and potassium. But here's the thing. Half a cup of beets contains 76 milligrams of oxalates. This high oxalate content can be troublesome for people who often get kidney stones. If you don't have a history of kidney stones, you should be okay if you limit how much beets you eat. Number 11. Rhubarb. Rhubarb is a leafy green veggie that's kind of like celery but tastes sour when cooked. It's sweet and often used in desserts. But here's the catch. Rhubarb is loaded with oxalates. So if you're someone who tends to get kidney stones, it's best to skip the rhubarb. Just half a cup of it has around 541 milligrams of oxalates. Number 12. Corn grits. Eating grits can push you past your oxalate limit, as they contain about 97 milligrams. However, if you're set on having grits, try making them with milk. Adding milk or other calcium-rich ingredients can make high oxalate foods a bit better for preventing kidney stones. If you're not keen on grits, you can swap them out for cooked oatmeal, which doesn't have oxalates. Check out some overnight oats recipes for a tasty alternative. Number 13. Buckwheat. Buckwheat is packed with fiber, minerals, and antioxidants, and it's even been linked to stable blood sugar and lower cholesterol levels. But if you're worried about kidney stones, it might be best to avoid or cut back on how much you eat. A one-cup serving of cooked buckwheat groats has 133 milligrams of oxalates. Instead, you could try white rice, another gluten-free grain. A cooked cup of white rice only has about 4 milligrams of oxalates. Number 14. Potatoes. A medium-baked potato, including the skin, contains about 97 milligrams of oxalates per serving. Most of this oxalate content is found in the potato skin, which also happens to be rich in nutrients like fiber, vitamin C, and B vitamins. Number 15. Navy beans. Half a cup of navy beans contains about 76 milligrams of oxalates, which is quite high. If you have kidney stone problems, it's a good idea to choose other types of beans instead. Lentils, green beans, and peas are good alternatives to consider. In conclusion, when dealing with kidney stone issues, it's important to be mindful of your oxalate intake and opting for beans with lower oxalate content can be a smart choice. Number 16, animal protein. Animal protein doesn't have a lot of oxalates, but eating too much of it can lead to uric acid kidney stones. A small amount of animal protein won't cause kidney stones, but it's important to know that large servings over time could build up uric acid. This applies to all types of animal protein, like chicken, turkey, eggs, seafood, and red meat. To keep things safe, stick to portion sizes. The rule is, your animal protein serving should be about the size of your palm, which is usually around 4 to 6 ounces. Keeping it to this size lets you enjoy your protein without worrying about kidney stones. Number 17. Dates. Dates are dried fruits that are packed with nutrients and are commonly used as a sweetener in cooking and baking. However, it's important to moderate your consumption of dates because they are high in sugar and contain concentrated oxalates. Just one date contains about 24 milligrams of oxalates. Certain foods can lead to kidney stones, and it's important not to ignore them. Kidney stones are a serious health problem that needs your full attention. Symptoms can be really bad, so it's crucial to see a doctor if you notice them. While some kidney stones can pass out of your body on their own, you need to be careful about what you eat. Drinking plenty of water and staying active can help too. Ask your doctor for advice on what to eat and what to avoid. Making changes to your diet and lifestyle can greatly lower your chances of getting kidney stones, especially the most common type called calcium oxalate kidney stones. Pay close attention to what you eat every day. If you found this video helpful, remember to like it and subscribe to our channel for more useful videos like this one. Thanks for watching.